doing stuff for us? Yeah. Do you ever wonder what's in it for me? Constantly. <laughs> well, Mommy Roman, come on down. Oh, a present? I love presents. He is going to do so great with women. Do you like them? I love them. I'm going to put them on the refrigerator right now. They're not magnets. They're earrings. Oh, of course they are. And they're beautiful, too, Andy. Thank you. I'm going to save these for a very special occasion. Matt, look at my beautiful earrings. So the kid bought you some earrings. That's really sweet. Blah, blah, blah. Does anyone care that my love life is going up in flames? So what's wrong? I'm sitting here minding my own business. I should have seen it coming. Every time I make a date, I break out. Look, Joe, look at it. What? I can't even see anything. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't there. It's like oil in Saudi Arabia. And oh, mama, this is going to be a gusher. <laughs> Maybe God was so worried about your hair, he totally forgot about your complexion. Funny, Joe. That's real funny. All right, that's it. You know what? I can't take it anymore. Come with me. Are you sure this is going to work? Trust me, man. When you change schools as much as I did, you cannot afford to make a bad impression. You slap on a bit of this, you're going to have no problems. What are the ingredients? Uh, peanut butter, mustard, toothpaste, a little hot sauce to fire up the blood. <laughs> Okay, man, where's the epicenter? It's got a pulse. It's like an angry little red man trying to punch his way out. <laughs> all right, here we go, buddy. Okay, all right, here we go. A little extra just for protection here. Okay. Now, go to your room. Think pleasant thoughts. No matter what you do, no talking, okay? Thanks, Joe. Let's really begin. No talking. <laughs> okay. I think... No talking. <laughs> Hot sauce to fire up the blood. <laughs> the kid's spazzing, all right? If he does break out, it'll be because of stress. Joe, I need you. What am I, triple A? <laughs> She's on her way. I tried to stop her. Who's on her way? Lois, my beloved, the light of my life. <laughs> Do you have any crackers? <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. I can't lose her, Joe. I'd be just a big useless puddle of a man. Please. She's here. Five minutes. Sold. I'm taking the liberty of... Remember, language. This is a lady. Lloyd? Lloyd, is that you? Yes. Lotus Cooper. I hope you don't mind. I let myself in. That door was locked. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just couldn't wait to meet you. I drove up here at Warp Factor 6. I know this sounds crazy, but I feel like I know you. No, no, it doesn't sound crazy at all. <laughs> so, uh, are you disappointed? No. You were even prettier than you are in your picture. You know what? You are too. Thank you. <laughs> so what do you say we paint this town red? Oh, I'd love to, but you know what? I have so much work that I have to do here. Oh, maybe I could pick us up some sandwiches from Philly Pete's. You've written volumes about it. Oh, that sounds great. Oh, but you know what? I mean, I wouldn't get any of this work done with you around. I'd be way too distracted. Okay, so I'll just see you at the convention tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, geez, you know, it's just that I have so much work to do. Hey, but why don't we stay on the internet? We'll keep writing, okay? Okay, Lloyd. Sorry to catch you at such a bad time. You know, uh, this is one of those moments it'd be really great if I had a transporter room so I could just beam myself up and disappear instead of making the long walk to the door. Wait, wait, wait. Lady, lady, uh, listen, I, I have to tell you the truth. I'm not Lloyd, all right? Lloyd's just a friend of mine. Yeah, uh, right. Is... Look, you're off the hook. I get the message. You don't have to set the phaser on kill. No, no, really, I'm not. And you know what? You're not half as much fun as you were on the computer. Lotus, wait! I'm Lloyd. I sent you Joe's picture because I was too scared to send my own. What's your handle? Kirk, 184. What's mine? Yeoman, 8. Lloyd. I can't believe you did this to me. That's the last time I listen to you. <laughs> ah! Joe! Joe, get in here! Who did you 
put on it? Fertilizer? What's going on? Yuck. What's the matter? Uh, you might not want to see this. Oh, come on. It can't be as bad as... What have you done to my son? Look at me, Mom. I'm hideous. I'm the boy without a face. Look at me. It's spreading. It's spreading as we speak. Then we shall work together to conquer the Earth. Come with me to my spaceship. Bring your human host with you. Mom. Bandy, come on. Let's go fix breakfast. Oh, Mom, I want to play with a creature. Listen, Joe, I got a big date. Ever since Nancy got her braces off, it's been a feeding frenzy. I cannot cancel. All right, then why don't you just... Shh. No talking. You're going to have to fix this. All right, then why don't you... Ah. No talking. I should be back from the Comic-Con before dinner. I'm going to take my pager with me just in case. Anything else? Yeah. Nice earrings. Very funny. <laughs> well, you don't like them? Well, they're not exactly my style. Oh, well, I guess that's why there's chocolate and vanilla. <laughs> and he gave them to me. Mm. Oh, so what if I look like a clown? <laughs> it's a small price to pay for the glories of motherhood. Well, you know, Claire, it wouldn't kill you to expand your horizons a little bit. Maybe funk it up a little. Newsflash, there is life beyond a string of simple white pearls. I mean, I don't want to shock you, but time did not stop in 1956. I know that. Well, then, tell your clothes. <laughs> Will you hand me that wrench? Wrench? Like she wrenched my heart right out of its socket? <laughs> yeah, that one. Oh, what's the point? Nothing matters anymore. Music has lost its melody. 